Hey folks, Daily Lines Blog for the 14th of November, 2019. I was speaking to uh, my friend V today, and uh, you know, I talk to her quite regularly, given the fact that she's um, embarked on this, this real fight. Uh, this is Carl, by the way, you know Carl is my... Hopefully Corey doesn't see that. Yeah, Corey doesn't let him have bones, but it's like when the grandparents are babysitting, the rules get expanded. So V has, uh, has committed herself to fighting back from the worst possible place where she t tried to take her own life. And uh, she said something to me, which I have said actually on this blog before, but I wanted to expand on it. And she said that her dad passed away, I guess about a year ago, and that she felt this enormous sense of guilt because she's been on medication. Maybe it wasn't a year ago, I may be wrong about that, but she felt this guilt because she's been on medication and she hasn't felt the depth of sadness that she would attach to the importance that her dad played in her life. And it's like, oh my gosh, why do I not feel more sad? And you heard me say the same thing with my mom, that I feel a sense of guilt, that I, I, I have been sad, but not dominated by sadness at times, that my, my sadness is in particular only relevant when I think about it. So it's like, if I don't force myself to think about it, then um, I don't spontaneously feel sad about something that I want to feel sad about because I adored my mom. And she also said something that I thought was really smart. She said, now I got to wear another mask. And this mask is that when something sad happens um, to somebody around me, I got to put a mask on and pretend like I'm actually feeling this sadness because even though the cognitive part of my brain tells me that something bad has happened and I think, oh, that's a terrible thing for that person. I don't feel it. I don't show it. It's not written on my face. And therefore I got to put the mask on and actually act like I'm sadder on the outside than I really feel like being. And I have experienced the same thing as, you know, Case, um, you know, sometimes it's like, okay, you got to show people something that you, you, you can't show them unless you put on a bit of an act. So sometimes you just, you got to look like you're sadder than you really are. And that's terrible, but that's the price that we pay for medication, right? It squeezes down our range, it numbs us, and it prevents us from feeling really bad stuff. But when it's really appropriate to feel really bad stuff, you want to be able to feel it because it's part of life. Sicknowweek.com, 24 hours a day, 364 days a year. Uh, you know, we're here because, uh, to be honest with you, I've never heard anybody else talking about this, and it's important to talk about wearing the mask, not just to show people that you, you're better than they think you are, but to show them that you're worse than they think you are.